The issue of the much talked about Chinese spy balloon that flew across the United States and Canada in February 2023 refuses to die down. As per the latest reports, it efficiently gathered intelligence from several US military sites and transmitted it back to Beijing in real time, despite Washington's attempt to prevent any such thing from happening. Pentagon Deputy Press Secretary Sabrina Singh said, As of right now, we're still doing an assessment of what exactly the intel was that China was able to gather, but we do know that the steps that we took provided little additive value for what they have been able to collect from satellites before. Three senior officials of the U.S. administration said the intelligence China collected was mostly from electronic signals which can be picked up from weapon systems or include communications from base personnel rather than images. While the White House did confirm the report, U.S. officials say they managed to limit the balloon's intelligence gathering abilities as it floated over the country. Notably, the balloon, which China denied was a spy balloon, entered the U.S. from Alaska passed through several states including Montana, where the U.S. nuclear assets are stored, hovered over key military establishments across the United States before being shot down by the U.S. military on February 4th off the Atlantic coast. The Chinese spy balloon also prompted the postponement of U.S. Secretary General Antony Blinken's visit to Beijing, further straining the relations between Beijing and Washington.